Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So I spent way more than a hundred hours playing this game. I finished it, I did the true ending and I have already started my second run. So it's time to talk about it because I do have some thoughts that I want to share. But let's get one thing out of the way. I really enjoyed this game more than I thought I would. I did not think that I would like a medieval fantasy theme type of game that is usually not a genre that I go for. I am more of a modern sci-fi type of gamer. When I bought this game, I just thought that it would be a good game for making YouTube videos. No expectations whatsoever. So this was a surprise hit for me personally. Now, that is not to say that this game is perfect. It does have its own issues. I remember when I first started playing this game, I was still skeptical. I didn't like this game from the beginning. I remember the first couple of hours, I was really confused about the game. I didn't know what to do. And for a moment there, I regretted buying the game, especially after the beginning introduction. Once you get to Vernworth, where from that point on, you're basically on your own. I was like really confused at that point. I wasn't sure what to do and at that stage of the game you also started to get a lot of quests. A lot of NPC was stopping you. You started to get more than one quest popping up. I didn't know which one was the main quest or which one was the side quest. And the quest instructions were very vague. Like if you didn't pay attention to what the NPC was saying or if you forgot, it's easy to get pretty lost and not know what to do. Some of the quests don't have a location mark and those that did have a location mark is like pretty far from the actual actual location that you have to go. So I did get pretty frustrated at the beginning. However, the game kept my curiosity going. The story was intriguing and I didn't want to just stop playing. Like I was, I was pretty interested in what was happening. What I'm basically trying to say the game, yes, does have its issue, and I think mostly is the learning curve. I think it does have a slightly higher learning curve than most other games. Eventually, I kept playing, I figured out, oh, you can actually hire pawns that have quest guides for the quest that you're doing, and basically, you can just follow them. And when I learned that, Everything just became much easier, much simpler. The adventure just became smoother. So I could focus more on just enjoying the game. I could just kind of explore without having to worry that I'm going to get lost and I'm not going to know how to get back on track to the quest. So I understand that this game is not for everyone and why some players might be put off by this and just kind of give up or find it outright boring. I get it, but in my personal experience, I gave it another chance, I kept going, and I'm glad I did, because this game kind of grows on you. And it has a lot of positive things, like combat, I think is very enjoyable, the different vocations, being able to try different varieties, graphics, it does have a lot of good things going on. And after 140 something hours, I narrowed it down to the one thing that I think made me love this game. And it's the pawn system. It is very unique. Like a lot of people who said this before, this is a single player game, but it is not a lonely game. The pawns add a different dimension. It makes the game a little bit more dynamic. It's just a little bit short, of a co-op game, still allow those who enjoy single player, a little bit more story driven games, but not feel alone. Personally for me, that is the highlight of this game. I developed this strange emotional connection to my main pawn. And that brings me to my biggest wish for a future incarnation of this game. I would like to see a quest that goes deeper into the story of pawns, their history, where they come from, who they are, and maybe have a quest where the reason gets to free them from whatever incantation maybe, whatever it is that makes them 
have to obey the reason. Because I would like to see pawns being equals. And maybe the quest could have three different outcomes. One, if you succeed, you free them. And because you are successful, your main pawn still chooses to be with you and continue the mission because now you cannot have earned their trust, the love or the respect or whatever. And so the main pawn chooses to continue with you. And another thing that I want to see, let's say that you're successful, you get to free your pawns. Maybe we can have an extra step where you can romance your main pawn. I mean, we cannot even give them gifts right now. Maybe allow the pawns to get jealous if you romance another NPC. And when that happens, maybe sometimes they just don't help you or don't come to your aid. Just sometimes not full-blown dragon's plague, but something softer than that. You know, just like jealousy, just occasionally until you restore their affinity back to the same level. I don't know. I'm just throwing ideas here. Then you have another outcome where you don't succeed and everything just kind of stays the same. And then have a third outcome where you just completely kind of mess it up. And now your main pawn actually leaves you and you have to create a new main pawn. I'm just spitballing here. You know, this is just something I wish the game had and it just came to my mind and I just couldn't get it out of my head. So I thought I'll share. Now, I'm not very well versed in the entire lore of the games. I mean, I never even played the first Dragon's Dogma. This is my first time with this game. So I'm not too sure if such a quest would contradict anything. I mean, honestly, if the developers do want something like that to happen, they can definitely write it and make it work. But if anybody out there knows a lot about the lore, you know, you can chime in to see, you know, if such a thing will work or not. So anyway, that is that is my biggest wish for, for this game, for the future of this game. I hope it happens. If you're kind of in the same boat, like this video, share. Let's see if we can spread it far enough. Maybe somebody from Capcom hears it. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Really enjoyed the game. I hope you guys did as well. And if you are playing it right now, I hope you have a good time. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Enjoy the game, have fun, and I'll see you all in the next video.